If you're a grandparent or non-parent who's seeking child support, uh, child custody, or uh, any factor involving a visitation of a child, you've got to pay attention to a new case out of the Texas Supreme Court that creates a new factor that could be devastating to your case. The factor is called the fit parent presumption, and that's the topic of today's video. Hi, I'm Sean Palmer with the Palmer Law Firm, and I've been practicing family law in the great state of Texas for the last 19 years, primarily in the Houston, Galveston areas. And my firm handles a lot of cases involving non-parent custody cases. And we were paying attention to a 2020 case out of the Texas Supreme Court. And the, the name of that case is In Ray JCJ. Um, and it really is changing the landscape of um, um, custody involving uh, non-parents. So um, in, the, uh, uh, in that case, we had a, a, a child that was living with the mother and um, mother and father lived together. And the, um, the parents got a, uh, through a, uh, a suit affecting parent-child relationship case, they got joint managing conservatorship. Um, then uh, the, the, the uh, periods of possession were almost equal by the time the child was three. And in January of 2018, the mother petitioned the court to change that order and asked for an increase of child support and a modification of the possession order. Um, in July of that year, while the case was going on, the mother died. Um, and the father uh, now took primary custody of the child. And uh, while that was uh, you know, going on, the grandmother of the, the maternal grandmother of the child petitioned the court to intervene in the modification suit. So um, we had a, gra a grandparent coming in wanting to have uh, conservatorship of the, uh, of the child. Uh, as well, the mother's boyfriend, whom the child had lived with for, uh, for a while, also intervened in the case, seeking similar uh, conservatorship rights to visit the child or have rights uh, otherwise with the child. The father petitioned the court to dismiss the, mo the modification uh, and, and to not allow the interveners, the maternal grandmother and the, and the, mother, the deceased mother's boyfriend, to come in and um, try to have any rights uh, about the child. Um, and the, this went all the way up to the Texas Supreme Court and they, the Texas Supreme Court did a um, analysis and they, not only did they um, back up what has been a long held presumption that uh, a parent is uh, the proper person to raise the child, but they added on to it an additional uh, factor and said that there is a recognized presumption that parents are fit. So the idea that a parent could be, um, you know, bringing up the child is, is pretty fundamental, of course, but um, it can be overcome um, if the parent is, is not, you know, fit to take care of the child, but there's never, there was never before said that the, the person seeking to take uh, custody or have visitation with the child against the wishes of the parent, never before was it said that you gotta first assume the parent is fit. So, but now there's a legal presumption um, and it's deeply embedded in the Texas law and the trends that are going on that it's in the child's best interest should be raised by parent. And now that the parent is gonna be considered fit unless the non-parent can prove otherwise. So in this case, uh, this Texas Supreme Court case, they cited the, the case that we all know here in, in the legal custody world, Troxel versus Granville. And in that case, the court, uh, United States Supreme Court held that so long as a parent adequately cares for his or her children, i.e. is fit, there will normally be no reason for the state to inject itself into the private realm of the family. So Troxel set out the idea that a parent is um, the appropriate person and there's in fact a constitutional right that the state does not interfere with a, uh, a parent's care of the child. 
But now the Texas Supreme Court has sort of added on to that, that there's a presumption that you, you've got to prove that the parent is not fit uh, before you can make any decisions um, for the child or you can have any visitations with the child against the wishes of the, of the, of the parent. So uh, a fit parent presumption, fit parent presumption includes non-parent suits for conservatorship, uh, and not just for managing conservatorship either, just, just any sort of rights to the child. Uh, and that includes periods of possession, what we normally call grandparent access cases, uh, typically, but it could be aunts or anyone else who wants to have a court-ordered access to the child. Those cases have become much more difficult. And if you're in the middle of one right now, you need to retool your uh, ideas if your attorney has not considered the, the case uh, in Ray uh, JCJ. So, um, so when non-parents are trying to get a, uh, access to a child, the analysis, the legal analysis must begin with, can we overcome the idea that the parent is fit? Um, and that needs to begin the, the, uh, the whole thought process about filing suit or, or, or moving forward on a suit, because if you can't overcome that presumption, then, uh, then, then you're not gonna you're not gonna go anywhere because Troxel has a you know constitutional right as well as other cases have, have been applied to show that a parent is the one to take care of your ch of of their child, and they have superior rights over anyone who who's not a non-parent and wants to come in and, and, and do that. So you have to overcome that fit parent presumption. Now there are facts that may be in your case that can overcome that. And you need to uh, think about what those are and, and see if you can prove those in court su sufficiently so that the fact finder can reasonably infer that the parent is not fit and that some other person needs to, to come in and, and, uh, and have some rights. So when you're, uh, when you're in a case like this, you need to make sure that you're reviewing this case and considering the factors that you have in terms of will you be able to prove that the parent is not fit against its presumption. So um, my firm has created a cheat sheet for you if you want to use uh, consider some factors about uh, whether you can overcome the fit parent presumption. So uh, we've, uh, we've created some, some of the possible uh, facts that could come in and uh, allow a person to be able to overcome that fit parent presumption. If you would like a copy of that, we're giving it away at no charge. All you got to do is just just go to the website there and um, request it, and uh, we'll send that off to you for free. And you can uh, have a look at whether or not you're going to be able to overcome the fit parent presumption. Well, that's what we have here for today. Uh, my name is Sean Palmer with the Palmer Law Firm, where we can't protect your heart, but we can make sure that you get your rights. Um, if you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment below, and we'll try to get back with you. Thank you.